All right, got a neat little project, or I hope it turns out neat. <clears throat> These are trim pieces that go on the quarter panel of that 64 Comet that we did at the beginning of the year, um, that nostalgia drag car. Uh, and it's starting to take shape and it's starting to go back together. I need to get some pictures of it and, um, and post them so you guys can see them. But what's going on here is these are going to be like, it's a neat color of blue. Now, if you remember, we painted that car orange and white. And the blue that he wanted is a, is a really neat looking blue. But the problem is, if I paint it with that waterborne paint, it was going to be like $70 worth of just color. Because it was a three-stage color. So the owner of the car went out and bought this Rust-Oleum Blue Chrome. And because it's very close to the same color. So we're going to find out together, guys, um, what this looks like when we're done. I think it would just be something neat for you guys to, uh, to watch. Okay. Um, I've pulled the, the, the trim off of this one. I gotta take it off this one. Um, and then what I've gotta do is, there's really no way to do a good job with these letters on there. And they're, they're what's on there, they're, it's like a crush rivet. There is a little tab that sticks through and then they, they dolly it over. So we're gonna have to drill them out. And we'll have to stick them back on with some two-sided tape or something. But uh, I'll try and film that as best as possible. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to grind off the back of these. Hopefully that letter will come right off. We'll find out. I think I got to go get a center punch and knock the center of it out. Yes, that worked. I, I ground it and then I just took a little small Phillips head and pushed it out and it comes right off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and grind the rest of these, the back of these and pull them off. Um, this is thin, so I can't grind too much. So basically just grinding that little tab off. Okay. I've got all the letters off. Now I'm gonna take a scuff pad and I'm gonna clean all this up. And then I'm gonna come back with a little bit of, with a hammer and slightly dolly that out. See how that's kind of um, misplaced a little bit? That's just from the factory. Every one of them is like that. I gotta slightly tap that out, but I gotta be careful because see this is textured. I just wanna get that little hump out of it so it's gonna make it easier to put them back on when the time comes. But first I'm gonna take a scuff pad and clean all this up. Just a scuff pad, using it to basically clean it up. Now that it's cleaned up better, you can uh, kind of see how those, they're kind of uh, deformed a little bit. And I'm not gonna go crazy, but I'm just gonna set them on this table and take a body hammer. I'm gonna hold this like, I'm gonna use this table as like a dolly take a body hammer. I'm not going to kill it. I'm just going to tap them down just a little bit. I'll, I'll bring it over to the camera in a minute. Okay. If you can see now, it's not 100%, but it's a whole lot better than it was. See, it was like like that one. So I'm gonna go through and do that to all of them before we go any farther. Okay, I have followed the direction on the back of this can. And uh, it says don't sand no more. I scuffed them, I had to. Uh, and it says you can put a coat of gloss primer. They're talking about some kind of Rust-Oleum mess on here. Just to make the color uniform, but uh, a shiny primer, but primer. But these are already shiny, so we're going to see how this works out. I'm taking it up real good. We'll see. And just like with a paint gun, you want to let off as you go back and forth. That's looking pretty neat. A 
light coats. And you guys can notice that I'm, as I go back and forth here, I'm, I let off the button. It's a button on this, not a trigger. Now, we're gonna let that flash off just like we would with regular paint. I went ahead and moved these things into the, uh, the paint booth. This stuff's got a, uh, it's got a strange odor to it. And not to mention, you know, it's cold in that shop. So I'm gonna bring them in here. To, it'll help them flash off better in between coats. See if I can get this camera positioned again. There we go. Then we're gonna put the second coat on. Well, it took five coats. I'm not quite sure that I filmed <laughs> the last one I put on. Um, I'm not, it probably was covered in four, but there was a few spots that I thought maybe weren't covered, but it's just, it's just the imperfections. Like if you see that spot right there, that's just where it's a different um, texture because this thing is, uh, you know, it's got these grooves in it and it's like a scar in it, but they look good. Uh, depending on how you look at it, they look a little splotchy, but that's just a characteristic of this paint. I think once the uh, once these letters are all cleaned up and put back on there, I think they're really going to look sharp. So, hope you enjoyed just this little little clip.